What's up, family? Polar Bear Hydroponics. Um, here in about 10 days, I'm going to throw these girls in a flower. And uh, these were my mom's. This is the... Let's take a look. Look at the tag. My red or my monster. This is the Dr. Levin Q BX1. Uh, I've got some clones of her taken. I think four. Uh, I think I've got five clones of her. Uh, they should be ready in about... Uh, probably five or six days for uh, transplanting to some cups or one gallon pots. I'm, I haven't decided yet. Um, but uh, she's pretty big, and what I've typically been doing is uh, I've been flowering everything I have in three gallon pots like this one here. And my very first harvest was nine plants, and uh, I got over two pounds, which is good. Uh, you know what I mean? If I just repeat that every time, uh, that'll be fantastic. But uh, I, I'm trying to improve my grow and do better. So uh, this one here, let's see. You see that? Yeah, that's the Skunk Tango by Goso G, number 33. That was donated to Club uh, 22 Too Many, and uh, they gave me a clone of it. I... Uh, Outside of that, I don't know anything about it. I don't know the actual name. I don't know anybody who's had the flower and what it's like. Uh, but I know Ghost OG was one of the strongest uh, cannabis strains for a really long time. And I'm a big skunk fan. So uh, th th these are breeders that know what they're doing. And this, this came from a, uh, uh, not a dispensary, but a... Uh, 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 an actual business where they, you know, they grow marijuana for a living. So, um, I was searching through all the fabric pots that I have. I've got a, I've got a bunch of them that were donated to me that, uh, I am happy to share with other people if they need to. But, um, I was looking through everything. I was hoping I could find some, uh, five gallon, uh, uh, pots, fabric pots like uh, these here, but uh, I couldn't. I've got a, I've either got uh, three gallon, or I've got one gallon, I've got three gallon, and uh, most of those aren't like these fabric pots. They're they're like a white mesh. Uh, it worked really good. The, the plants liked it. Uh, the roots grew at the bottom. That was fine. It was, uh, everything was air pruned. Uh, I do like the plastic pots. Um, I think they're easier for watering. I think they retain the water better. Um, but anyhow, uh, these are what I've got. So uh, uh, these are seven gallon pots. Uh, so I'm going to fill them up today. And I'm going to transplant these from three gallons to seven gallon pots. And then they've got about nine or ten days until I uh, flip them to flower so uh, they should have plenty of time uh, and then tonight I'll probably feed them I've got a tea going uh, I started uh, either yesterday or the day before um, really it's it's good to use after 24 hours it, in fact it even says on the back you can use it after 12 hours uh, but, uh, the longer it brews, the better. Uh, but I don't believe you want to go over 72 hours. Um, anyhow, I've got an air stone in there and, uh, everything, everything's going good. So, uh, that's what's up. I just wanted to give you a little checkup and tell you what's going on. Uh, I'm going to transplant these, uh, three gallons to seven gallons. And, uh, we're going to go with bigger, you know, bigger roots, bigger fruits. Uh, I'm really excited about this skunk. That's my shit. The stock looks... Let's, let's come in here. Let's take a look at this one. The stock's pretty good for a three-gallon pot. Let me get a big lighter next to it. It's got those nice nubs. You know what I mean? I like that. Big, thick, sturdy, really stiff, strong branches. 
Uh, I need to go through who are still. Uh, I already went through the 11 Q and I stripped off some leaves uh, that I didn't like. And I, I stripped off a bunch of small bud sites too. All this little shit. Well, they're not bud sites yet, but they will be. And uh, I, I, I don't like it when they're I don't like it when they're right inside at the stock. You know what I mean? I want it. I only want. Uh, let's like let's take this branch. See if I can turn to get the light better. See this branch right here. Uh, all this lower stuff on it. That out of the way. Anything low, uh, anything that doesn't protrude off the branch, like these here. These comes up. These come off. Those might be okay, but then the next one up, the small one, I take that. And then I might, I'd keep the next one up and then maybe take that and go from there. All right. Uh, anyhow, we'll see what happens. Much love, guys. See you in a bit. All right. So here we are, Polar Bear Hydroponic. I'm back. Uh, I think everybody's done a transplant video, uh, but I'm going to do one now. So I've already transplanted one into the seven gallon here. And uh, so that went really well. And I wanted to show you how I'm transplanting this one into the seven gallon. So you can look in here and you can see, I filled up the pot. I, I put one pot inside the next. I put about two inches of soil on the bottom. And then that gave me about an inch and a half, to two inches of soil around the pot on the inside for the roots to expand. And then that gives me about another, uh, uh, two and a half, three inches to add on to the top. So I'm going to pull it out now and I'll show you what I do. So I just filled in the pot around and then this is just uh, pH water to 6.0 and uh, um, a root hormone. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the inside of the pot so that the walls have some stability when I put it in and it won't crumble. Uh, also, um, once I've done this for a little bit, here we go, then I take uh, uh, the extreme uh, mycos, the mycorrhiza, and now that the walls are wet, uh, I sprinkle the mycorrhiza on the inside of the plant or on the inside of the pot and I get it along the walls the best that I can and it sticks to the walls now that they have some moisture to it too. How long do you think So. I got my kid. I got one of them uh, as my cameraman. And the other one is losing his mind. Hey, Ethan, walk away, please. They can't stand to be separated. All right, so this is the, the Skunk Tangle uh, by Ghost OG, number 33. So I turn it sideways. I let all that topsoil fall off. It doesn't bother me. I'm just going to sweep it up. So that is going to expose the, the roots on the top. So I'll just press down on the plastic pot. That's why I like them. Uh, and how we come. You can see uh, we got roots everywhere. Uh, I wouldn't call her root bound. Uh, she doesn't have quite enough roots for that. Although the bottom is quite covered, so that's nice. So all I'm going to do is run my fingers lightly on top to break up the roots. Not to break up the soil, but just to lightly get the roots free. I'll do that all the way around. Now I've already added the, the mycorrhiza to the pot, so I'm not going to add... Uh, any more to the sides since I don't think it's necessary. So 
that's everything. You can see the roots on the bottom are hanging nicely. Uh, they're a nice white. Uh, I don't see any brown. Uh, everything looks, looks really healthy. I'm really proud of this one. So I'll just set that right there in the hole. It'll just slide on down. Uh, then I'll take the mycorrhiza again. And since I took the top layer of the soil off, uh, uh, that's where the roots of that are going to be. So I'm just going to sprinkle some more inside on the top so that when the roots grow up, uh, it'll uh, make contact. So uh, now I've got about three inches from uh, the plant to the, the, the top of the pot here. So I'm going to fill in some. Just lightly patting it, uh, kind of getting an idea of what it's going to set when the water runs. All right, that's how I transplant, guys. Uh, okay, go ahead and hit. All right, so here we are again. We're back in my hands. Uh, she's in her seven gallon pot. Um, you know, there wasn't, it, it, I, I thought it would actually be bigger almost. You can see the reference of the three gallon pot here next to the five gallon. Um, I do have a couple more inches uh, here. I'd say another two and a half, three inches still after she's set in. And I put some uh, soil in. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to scoop in a couple more scoops um, and just kind of fill in. Um, and maybe maybe not towards the the center here i don't know we'll see anyways uh so i've already gone through you can see this plant i've gone through and i've bent the branches out and now i'm going to do that to the, to the skunk uh just lightly go through and abuse her you know you can see that one's been abused already it's got the nice angle it cuts over and then comes up again I've already bent it down there. I'm complete. You can see I'm completely bending them over. All right. Let's turn it. So here we are. Bending branches over. You know, trying to trying to expose the the center the best that we can. Not being a good cameraman, am I? one in so yeah so uh, so far this is my favorite uh, of everything that I've got at the moment and, and you know what I, I guess I'm being biased I haven't even had it yet I don't even know what it tastes like Ooh. hey bud so yeah, if you guys didn't know, I brought a crap load of ladybugs in. Um, I wasn't really happy with my success with the chemicals that I was using. Um, although I'm not against using it in the beginning to help prevent PM and other things. But, no worries. You guys could probably hear that alarm going off. It's an uh, um, evacuation alarm. Um, that's crazy, right? Uh, they, they do it at the beginning of the month. Uh, uh, first Monday of every month, they, they sound the alarm. 
dogs trip out. Uh, it tripped me out the first time I heard it because I was like, oh my god, are we supposed to evacuate? Yeah, no, it was cool. Uh, so, uh, here we are. Our mothers are in seven gallon pots now. And that's where they'll stay until they flower. Um, later tonight, um, after they've sat for a couple hours in these pots, uh, I'm going to water them with a tea. And I'm going to drench the pot. And, uh, yeah. You know, whatever I have left, I'll probably, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated let you know. So, all right, guys. Much love. Good little update. Peace. Hey, guys. Polar Bear. Just real quick, I wanted to show you the soil that I'm using. Or, um, you know... I guess you would call it soil. So uh, you can see the natural ingredients right there. Uh, so it's a cocoa core, bio core, worm casting, feather meal, bone meal, pasteurized poultry, litter, alfalfa meal. It's got everything. It's got everything you need. It says it does. So it's a bio 365. So this is bio bloom. Uh, ideal for flower stage capacity of biological active nutrient nutrient dense soil so you would call it soil okay look at that. so uh, yeah um, that's what's up anyhow guys I wanted to touch up on that and tell you guys uh, what it was all right hey guys here I am back again uh, see that this is, uh, there's two different seeds. Uh, the package is this brand of seed, the strawberry glue, these seeds are not strawberry glue. So this package had, uh, 12 or 13 seeds in it. Uh, you can see it. It's strawberry glue from Dark Horse Genetics. Uh, I looked it up, it's, uh, what it is, is a strawberry cough times Gorilla Glue times Sour Diesel. So, it's supposed to be epic. Really thrilled about that. And then this capsule of beans, the capsule is actually quite large. Uh, I had 10 more beans in here in, in, with those guys there. I had 10 more in there, and I also popped those ones, and those are Cherry Fucker by Gorilla Cardiac, so I'm not sure what the name of that would be, uh, but they are all regular seeds, so we have to sex test everything, and that's what we're going to do, we're going to send out the genetics for sex testing. Alright guys. Just want to give you an update. Uh, I'm going to be watering later today, and uh, I'll include that. And then, uh, yeah. So, see you on the next one. All right, family. So here we are. We're in the the veg room right now. I got stuff stacked on top of here. I'll put it away when I leave. Um, I just sprayed the clones. I've watered everybody in here. Um, it all looks really good. Um, these are the new seven gallon pots I transplanted earlier. Um, everything else is kind of dwarfed by it almost. Uh, wedding cakes are coming along really nice. Uh, I'm really excited about those ones. Uh, I've got kind of some droopy leaves back there, but they just got watered a minute ago. Um, those are all my CBDs, my 20 to ones. Um, I fed my tea to uh, the two seven gallons uh, to help with the transplant shock. I gave it to the auto flower. I gave it everything on the shelf up here. Um, so yeah. So that's the veg room. Everything's looking really good. I'm happy with everything. We've got about uh, I think seven to nine days, and. Uh, and this room is going to get real empty again. So, you know, that's part of the gig. 
I'm excited. Um, yeah, so let me put my uh, camera lens on the end of this and see how it makes everything blue. We'll come into here, see what the new 14 gallon, oh, oh my god, 7 gallon pots. Uh, I have to move everything around even more ridiculous than before. I hate it. My bedroom is getting small now. Or, the bedroom's not getting small, the, the amount of space left over is getting small. Oh, so, um, here's the ladies. They're looking really good. Let's see. Uh, the sherbets, they were put in on the 25th. So, uh, about two weeks in the flower now. Uh, let's see, you can see the, you know, we're showing, showing heads real nicely. Everything's showing sex, they're all showing female. Um, it's an important thing I gotta check it lately. It all looks really good though. Uh, this has got nice, so you got two butts, three bud sites, and you've got this uh, three or four inch space, and then it repeats itself. Two bud sites, three or four inch space, two bud sites. So I don't know if it's really going to get that stacked, although this one is uh, the uh, strawberry banana. No, it's the raspberry banana sherbet. And this one's stacked really nicely. These are going to be great big colas. I'm going to try to resist the urge of leaf stripping. Um, I'm still going to lollipop them, but uh, I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I say that. That's that's harder said than done. So, yeah. Everything over here. This is the this is the final area of the flower. Um, you can see it's just using up all the nutrient that's left. Uh, they're not taking up water anymore. Um, I've been feeding them every four days like clockwork. Uh, forever. But, uh... This week, or uh, this day, they're just as heavy as the day I watered them four days ago. So that means to me they're not taking up water anymore. And really, uh, that kind of means they're finished to me. We'll have to look at it, take a closer look at the trichomes. They are super frosty. They're dense buds. They're not quite as big as I would have liked them to be. But, uh, you know, had I not shocked them with the, the, the pH, uh, I think they all would have uh, matured better. But uh, this is a skunk I shocked at. This is a Chernobyl. I did that one. This is another skunk. I shocked this one. And you can see, you know, the leaves didn't like it. But... Right now it's a mixture of uh, them using up all their nutrient and uh, that goof up. That was in the beginning of flower. I would say I was maybe four weeks in. Not uh, I, ha I hadn't even moved them over to this side yet, so they weren't even five weeks old. Or five weeks in the flower uh, before I had done that. So take a closer look. This is the power sour diesel. See if it'll focus. Real frosty. It's sugary. Didn't get that big. I was kind of hoping for a bit more. I was hoping for a lot more stretch. About the size of an auto flower. They both are. Uh, barely tall enough to reach the nets. Uh, hopefully it's nice bud. We'll see. Uh, I don't have a lot of high hopes for that right now. Uh, I did pop some more seeds. You guys saw that earlier. Uh, I'm excited about that. I've got a, a laboratory through a buddy of mine he uses. And you pay for the testing of the plant to find out uh, the sex. And uh, this, those seeds I popped, with the exception of uh, the ones that are in the Dixie Cup in the other room, are all regular seeds 
So I pop, I'm popping, I'm trying to pop about 23 of them right now. And we'll see how many come up and we'll see what we have when it's all said and done. But I'm going to have them sex tested most likely. And, uh, you know, then we'll go from there. So, I've been having new dreams of how to redo my, uh, my flower rooms and my bedrooms. I, I don't know. I don't know. Get rid of all this extra crap, all this, uh, all these ducts and the lights and, I mean, the lights themselves are, let's say, eight inches thick. And then it's, uh, I'd say from that with the ties and the cables, that's another foot, at least maybe two feet, foot and a half. Uh, so, you know, there's two and a half feet right there. That if I put an LED light up there, I could put these on trays on tables, drain tables. But I don't know. I don't know. I like the idea of growing the plants bigger and having, uh, you know, maybe less of them. But it's 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 hard it's it's hard to say that you're gonna grow less plants just grow them bigger and still produce two pounds plus it's just uh, it's difficult um, if there's any issues like uh, over here if you fucked up the pH just one time on one of your sprays and the pH was too high and before you realize that you fucked up your plant then if you've only got four of them you got four low producing plants where I got five plants that I kind of fucked up with the pH and they're all going to be, uh, they're going to be hurting, but the three blueberry cushions in the back, which were extra, just back up, just for the hell of it, like, why not throw them in, they're the right size, or, or they were this, that was before I realized how little they stretched, I think, or I think I knew that once I started, I don't, I don't recall. It all just played together. I'm sure I figured it out from the last time, though. Uh, I've got two more nets. So, you know what? I'm going to scope these girls here in the next day or so. And I might be taking them down sooner than I thought. I thought that, uh, I think today's the 4th or the 5th of the month. No, it's the 6th. Today's the 6th. And uh, my plan was to take them down on the 14th, and I thought that would be a solid 10 weeks. But, uh, you know, if they're not taking up any water, and all I'm feeding them is water right now. If they're not taking up anything, the pots are just drenched and soaked. You don't want to keep feeding them. You don't want to keep watering them. It's just going to create problems. So they need to dry out. And, uh, you know what, maybe they need to come down. I'm okay with that, but if they didn't dry out in four days now, so I guess I'll give them, well, every couple of days I'll just check, that's, that's, that's pretty much the answer. It's hard to say that I'd give them four days and then chop them down, but if they drink everything up in three days and they were ready, then I'd take them down in three days. So, you know, that's what's up, that's what's going on. Uh, how much will I get? Uh... Not very much. You know what? Uh, with uh, the eight plants, I'm guessing I'm going to get about a pound and a quarter. If I get a pound and a quarter, I'll be happy. That'll be successful. Yeah. That doesn't sound good, but, uh, you know, you stress out your plants, it's... is what it is so that's what's up ladies and gentlemen polar bear family my can of guys my can of girls so uh i've been kind of keeping a daily journal for you guys today so uh maybe i'll try to do that more often so i can get more videos out anyhow guys uh this is polar bear hydroponics and uh I got nothing but love for you. So, 
you know, share the love. You know what to do. It's weed, man. It makes you happy. Don't be a dick. Just be happy. Stressful situations. This just makes us a better person. It's a, It really does. It's a medicine for me. Probably a medicine for you, too. You know, it, it improves your mood. That's a medicine to me. It, if it stabilizes, if it sets the tone of your day, almost. You know, I, I, I like to wake and bake. And if I wake up in the morning and I don't smoke pot and I start my day, I, you know what? Little things frustrate me. And, and uh, if, if you mess up your day in the beginning, it sets the tone for the whole day. So, yeah, I smoke weed in the morning. It makes me a better person, a nicer person, a more patient person. Um, so, anyways, now I'm just jabbering on again. All right, guys, I love you. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Pull over hydroponic.